Hi, and welcome back to ETV Power Women. Um, if you missed the first part of the show, we've been having a wonderful chat with Dr. Sujatha Gamage about the fascinating work that she does. Um, actually, before we took a break, uh, we were chatting about your girls, your daughters. <laughs> yes. And so you were telling us about the, them being in university and you know, trying not to, to push them into things. <laughs> or, right. or, uh, yeah, because they, are, they were in the American education system and so it's yeah. a wonderful system in that, you know, it gives kids second chances, third chances, right. which is quite different from what we have here. Yeah. You know, here we have the grade five scholarship, and that's, you yeah. know, and then A-level is like a new car system <laughs> where the people with three A's and others, you know, and then they continue it like the doctors would say, you know, the nurses, a uh, senior nurse can't have a pay higher than the a junior raw doc, you know, right, in BBS. Okay. Because so it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing, crazy. but, uh, you know, in the, the state, so it's, in that sense, a really nice system. Yeah. Um, my daughter was actually, she youngest one, she loves to read, uh -huh. and she thought she was going to English literature. Okay. Then she said, you know, why do I have to study this? I study all the time. Uh -huh. And believe it or not, she's a final engineer now. Wow. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> So that's how they move. Yeah. Then she went to biology. I mean, that's, that's the nice thing about the breadth of education that they get. Yeah. And then they get to very quickly, they get to specialize. I think it's wonderful. wonderful. And um, your son, actually, I've read his blog, mm -hmm. uh, which is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So he lives in Colombo, does he? He yeah. does. He returned home and we didn't expect him to. Yeah. But he insisted on coming. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, he seemed to, you know, Love it here. Oh. Wonderful. And so, Sajatha, how did you meet your husband? <laughs> it's actually, it's, it's about political representation for women. Started the, okay. in Peru, then, if you take the student council, yeah. they're very competitive. You right. know, we had political, actually, students belong to different political parties. Okay. And they, it's like a lot of violence and everything, you know. Really? Wow. And I, to our knowledge, th the last 10, 15 years when we've been there, there's been no girls in the council. Okay. You know what? Even now, I don't think there are any women in the council. Really? You know? So, Rohan at this party, yeah. you know, we all left his parties, or, you know, uh -huh. uh, LSSP, we had CP, and there was another French party. And he, from his party, he came and asked me whether I want to contest, uh -huh. be the editor, you know, okay. one of the senior positions. And yeah. I said, okay. Uh -huh. Actually, he thought he liked it that I, you know, didn't think much about yeah. it. Actually, I can be a little rash, you know. I just said, okay. <laughs> and then um, there were two girls in the ticket. I think yeah. there were eight in the ticket and two girls. You know what? What happened? There were three parties. Yeah. The president came from one party, secretary came from party and treasurer, I think, from another. And I was the editor uh -huh. and I came from the third party. Okay. Except for the two girls, everybody is lost. <laughs> So now Rohan is coming to me, you know, all this leftist Marxist stuff, you know, yes. okay, we have our agenda, you know, we had our platform, yes. now you should be taking it. I said, sorry, I think the girls elected me. <laughs> I said, look at the numbers, yeah. you know, the girls, the, the theory those days was that the women would not vote other women, jealousy. Okay. Oh, okay. But the girls were, I guess they were so starved for something, they so went all out and voted for the two girls. Fantastic. So, and then, uh, then we were fighting, you know, he's okay. saying, you know, but you came on my ticket, you know, <laughs> you came because I put you on the ticket. Uh, I said, but, you know, these are girls' issues and so on. And then, you know, when two people fight too much. <laughs> so the attraction grew from that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, we had two of us would never have met if not for the university, oh. you know. I'm from a rural, um, very diff two very different backgrounds. Yeah. But oh. Peradeniza was the melting pot. Oh, how wonderful. Uh, and so, Sujatha, what do you do, um, I mean, when you're not working to sort of relax? When I was reading about you, actually, I understand that you're quite interested in fusion cooking. So, right. you, again, this whole experimenting and, and coming up. Yeah. Um, even in the States, you know, we always, our dinners were very Sri Lankan. Right. But um, we were always experimenting. Yeah. So actually when we come home for holidays and when the grandmother serves something, the kids used to say, this is not Sri Lankan food. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I really 
believe in the colors, you know. Yeah. You have to match the colors, textures and flavors. And do you have a favorite dish that you sort uh, of cook? Yeah, I like, um, I really like Middle Eastern. I like yeah. couscous and, you know, hummus. Okay, I love hummus. Yeah, hummus. hummus love and then, yeah. you know, green. And we use lots of go to color and salad. And I like the Middle Eastern. It's light and it's vegetarian, but it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. Uh, it's delicious. And I understand also you're quite an avid reader of singular novels as well. Yeah, because, you know, when we were in the pair then, yeah, we really, we were immersed in the local culture, you know. Nanda Deva, Amara Deva, Nanda Malini and Victor Ratna, you know. All that was so, so immersed, the yeah. dra dramas and everything. And then we went to States. And I came back, I found I was so out of it. Yeah. And actually, I didn't enjoy them as much as I did. Oh, really? <laughs> and I, I was, it's after 20 years. Uh, so I'm s trying to get back, back into, into things. So I try to read at least two books, you know, a month. Go, yeah. and buy, go out there and buy. And go to some of the dramas. You know, Rajita Sisanaika is right. great. So um, I try to catch some of the... Uh, local scene, yeah, which is which is an interesting sort of scene, and and this is what I found particularly fascinating about you actually is that you decided to drop pure sciences after watching um, two thousand one. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was it's funny, you know. Rohan had watched the same movie, yeah, and he had he, all the men I know. Wow, they were all excited. Yeah. I come out and say, what is this? There was, there was no green, nothing. <laughs> you know, is this what science is about? Um, from then, actually, I've always really liked the green side of it. And yeah. so um, science, dropping science, there are a lot of things, but that was the deciding moment. Really, that yeah, was just the, the point theater. where you thought, okay. Right, well, we're going to take another little break. Um, when we come back, we've got the confession cam for you. So your family and friends and peers talking about you, giving us a little bit more insight into who you are. Um, so lots more great stuff when we come back after the break uh, with Dr. Sajal like Amigate. So we'll see you in a bit. Hi, and welcome back to ETV Power Women. Uh, we've got the very lovely and fascinating Dr. Sajatha Gamage with us here today. Um, and we're actually just about to show you the confession cam. Uh, so you can have a look and, and see what your family and your friends have to say about you. So why don't we take a quick look at that now. Sujatha was introduced to me by one of my friends. Actually, not a long time, just two years. Two years ago, uh, as a scientist who is working on solid waste management. And uh, since we are working for local governance, I thought it's a good opportunity to get to know this lady. And then I called her once. In our conversation, I started talking to her, Dr. Sujatha. And in our conversation, suddenly she said, don't call me Dr. Sujatha, call me Sujatha. So I thought, oh, what an amazing lady. And uh, yeah, our relationship started from there. And yeah, it's still continuing. And you know, it's a good relationship. And, she seems to be a very uh, energetic person who is working on multiple disciplinaries. Uh, so that is how the relationship started. She is, uh, as a friend, she shares, shares with me a lot of things like, you know, it's mostly on, uh, not on our personal levels, like, you know, not the family or not uh, other things, but it is always something to do with local governance, <laughs> you know. Uh, and uh, it's so interesting now, uh, both of us are working together uh, to promote uh, women in politics, you know. Uh, that is something that we need, the need of the hour. And uh, she has become a real driving force behind this. She is, I think, much beyond me now. Uh, so with this uh, uh, relationship, uh, with, I mean, she, whenever she talks to me, she talks about this particular subject. Nothing about her son, nothing about her family, or I even I don't talk about uh, the family's other relations. The friendship is really based on our work, and uh, she has become a real driving force. And she wants to see women coming into politics, especially at local levels. So it's our, our always our conversations are around this topic. Uh, my mother, I've I've known her my whole life. Uh, 
She's a very intelligent woman. She's very kind. I mean, I think personally she's taught me you know, ethical behavior, kind behavior. And uh, she's very sensitive. But my parents are both very educated. But I think they use that education to try to help other people as much as possible. I can talk to my mother about anything. She's, she's yeah, she's very well educated. You can talk, she's, I mean, we grew up in the West. So there's a different sort of lifestyle there, which she understands. But she's also, I mean, her family is from Agalawatta, I mean, even further rural. So she still has those like Sri Lankan values and, you know, that's still a big part of her as well. Well, we've always had books in the house. We've always had conversation in the house. So my mother is trained as a chemist, and, but she's also done work in education and environment and so on. So she's always, she's influenced me to, you know, learn more about science, about math, even though I never did very well in those things. But she tried to get us to, to learn about those things. But also, she's a, she also got me and my sisters to learn more about Buddhism and like that type and like meditation and that side of life as well. I mean, right now my mother's doing interesting work with women in government. So she actually does very well at working with not MPs or anything, but local government people and you know, talking to them, organizing them, helping them educate themselves, so on. She does a lot of good grassroots, grass, uh, grassroots work. Also with um, environmental issues, she works with the, the local garbage collectors, so not like the high-level policymakers or NGOs or anything, but the people who actually clean up the garbage and who actually do the work, which is something I admire. I mean, rather than talking about on the idea level, which I think is also important, she actually gets down to the, the people who actually do the work. Great. <laughs> <Not> bad. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> yeah, no, it was really interesting actually, especially to hear from your son's perspective, you know, and he it's just very genuinely seems to have a lot of admiration for the work that you do, which I mean he should. It's it's incredible. Um, and and I especially liked what your friend was saying about how you are the driving force, you know, trying to get women into these positions, which is a very, very important thing and I think we need to to have more women. Actually, in. that women's politics is actually very much extracurricular work. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the one that get prominence. Yeah. But again, you know, when the way Jit says, it sounds like I'm very activist. But actually, I do some serious research with that. Yeah. You know, you should see. I've actually got some network diagrams of okay. how people are connected. Oh my goodness! Because, wow. Yeah, because you know, people don't fund you research. Yeah. They don't fund you to go and do good. Right. <laughs> so I constantly tell people, you know, some other taxpayers' money we are spending. I can tell my students, you know, yeah. it's very easy. Sometimes we have to give things, you know, to get entry. It's very easy to stand on stage and give things. You know, I hate doing that because, you know, that's not, we are not there to give things. We are there, there, here to develop models and yeah. to take those models, these ideas to policymakers and try to get them to do things. Yeah. So we don't do charity work, we do research. Uh, that's great. the difference I like to make. All right, well, we're going to take another little break. And when we come back, I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you a series of quick questions. Our first answer that pops into your head is, is what I want to hear. Um, so don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back after this short break uh, with more from Dr. Sajatha Gamage. Um, don't go too far. And welcome back to ETV Power Woman. Um, I'm about to put you on the spot now <laughs> and okay. ask you these 10 questions. Uh, we call them the dreaded 10. First question, do you believe in God? No, I said I don't need that hypothesis. Okay. <laughs> How wide is the gulf between science and religion, in your opinion? Um, I think it's uh, quite a big wide, but quite a big um, gap yeah. but uh, some people seem to interpret it different ways and yeah. you know so I think person to me it's a big gap. Are you ever rude to strangers? No. <laughs> no. Is it humanly possible to explain quantum physics in two sentences? That's difficult. No, it's I difficult. <laughs> okay let me try it. Let me give it yeah. Gosh, I should have asked. Um, quantum changes. You know we have gradual changes 
quantum is when you go, you know, the big change. That's actually, you know what? I haven't thought about quantum physics for a long time. <laughs> quantum means, you know, chunks, changes in chunks. chunks. What career other than your own would you have liked to have tried? Definitely uh, engineering. Engineering. Definitely, because uh, I think my life would have been I taken a lot of zigzag, but I, I really like building things and uh, doing things. What's your most treasured possession? Uh, actually, I'm trying to get rid of things. I'm always, you know, uh, <laughs> it's nothing. I think my ideal is to, you know, shed things as I go along. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a very minimalist person. <laughs> if your house were on fire, what are the three things that you would say? Laptop. Because <laughs> everything is there. Is on that. Yeah. Um, pictures, we have the kids' pictures there. Yeah. Maybe my earrings and that I all have it in one place. In one place. Okay. If you were to die and come back as someone or something, what would it be? I think same the thing, a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> good, good answer. What's your stand on divorce? Uh, I encourage it. I actually, just the other day I was talking to somebody, yeah. you know, I think a lot of people who divorce, they marry happily second time, you know. Yeah. Oh, I think I highly encourage it. I don't think people should stay in loveless marriages. Yeah, absolutely. What would your first reaction be if you discovered that the world was actually flat? Well, then I would say, you know, it's a totally different paradigm. Um, that's a difficult question. <laughs> it's not rare. We, we have that. We've the seen spot. it from the moon. <laughs> uh, well, you know, if we are fundamental, one of assumptions have changed. You know, it's like somebody says, you know, the boat turned the other way. Yeah. Then you say, okay, now what do I do with this? <laughs> Unfortunately, we've come to the end of the show, and I'm really actually sad to, to finish this. It's been absolutely lovely um, chatting to you, and thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I was very excited to have you on the show, and it's really been a real treat, so thank you. Thank and you. <laughs> don't forget to tune in next week. We'll have another lovely guest on the show. Um, if you want to learn more about the program and the people that we've interviewed, you can always log on to our website. It's www etvpowerwomen.blogspot.com Lots of fascinating stuff on there. Um, so until next week, goodbye.